Malate. It is also a $15 game. Uh, like the other one we looked at, that Dark Light game. It is uh, similar in a lot of ways, which you'll see. And I'll just give you the spiel of it. Inhabit Krog, a mysterious blue creature in a red loincloth as he traverses a labyrinth of ladders, levers, traps, and monsters. Explore nooks and crannies of bizarre and evocative world as you hack and slash your way to victory, leaving a graveyard of grotesque bosses in your wake. This came out about two to three weeks ago. And, uh, yeah. We're gonna just jump right in. One night, tragedy befell the peaceful village. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. You have to hold to skip. Good. So, I think you can tell automatically what type of game this is. Oh, Krog, I am mortally wounded. We are cursed by an ancient god. But you know the tales of our people. Twelve artifacts lay scattered around these lands, guarded by traps and dangerous monsters. If you find them, you just might be able to avenge the crimes against our tribe and save our people from the curse. Good luck, Krog. Oh, okay, those are spikes. Nice. So, first off the bat, I am a little shocked at how well this plays. This is, um, extraordinarily responsive. Like, the controls feel really good. So, B does nothing when you're standing, but if you're pushing forward or backwards or whatever and B, you can roll. Press Y to use a heal. Okay, and I see just under my bar there, I have like ticks, I guess, for like, what my, uh, for how many times I can heal. Bonfires act as checkpoints, okay. So it has some Souls-like elements to it, how it plays, um, with the checkpoints and the healing and stuff. But this is definitely not a Souls game. First of all, there's no stamina. It's very fluid moving. It's just a standard uh, action platformer. And so far, I'm like... Pretty into how this plays, honestly. This feels really good. Try a late jump. I want to get that thing. Yeah, that thing's going to be a problem, dude. Okay, you cannot attack down. You can attack up, though. Let's just ignore that thing right now. I do feel a little bad because, um... I can't tell anymore what, like good quality uh, retro style like 16-bit um, art looks like anymore because so many games have done it so well that like this just kind of looks normal to me now at this point like um oh my god I'm an idiot it's definitely noticeable wait I just want to see something Oh, I can't read. I'm a dumb dumb. Um, I definitely can tell when this aesthetic is done poorly because it looks really bad to me. Um, but like when it's done nor like this, it just kind of looks normal. Does that make sense? Like, and I feel like that's maybe a disservice to people who probably spent a long time making this game how it looks, because it's like, well, yeah, it's supposed to at least look like this, if you're gonna do it. Not to say it's bad at all. Good became the new normal, yeah. That's exact. that's a good way to put it, for sure. And you're right, it does have a time spinner kind of aesthetic and feel to how it looks. 
which is a good comparison. I mean, I think Time Sprinter was really good. It feels like it's from the Genesis or SNES rather than a game pay homage to the style. Yeah, it's definitely well done in that way, I think. My timing is terrible, apparently. Like, I guess I'm gonna go up there. Uh oh. Well, I learned something today. I found the fetish of Enkaidu. Select to view your inventory. Boost strength near death. Must be at a bonfire to do that. Okay, so that's like our upgrade system, I guess. So I'm guessing near death, if you look at the top left, um, I'm guessing near death is like the last pip, like lower, the last pip and lower. Feels like a DS game. Yeah, I could definitely see the, uh, a DS game like this. Mainly because the movement is, like, smoother than it would be on an SNES. So, I think that's a pretty apt comparison. Also, I will say, it definitely has the feel of, like, those old games where some of these enemy placements are just really, really rude. Like, this enemy right here... That's some old school retro BS right there, man. If I remember correctly, this is also a passion project that like two dudes basically did in like their basement over three years. Which, again, it's one of those things where like that's kind of been normalized for indies. So. It's like disingenuous to say, oh, that's not that impressive. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, but like a lot of games that are very, very good came from a passion project that like a dude or two in their basement did <laughs> at this point. If it were Ninja Gaiden, they would be respawning. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of weird that you don't, like, rest at a bonfire. They are literally just checkpoints. Also, this seems like a boss. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> so, unlike souls, you don't lose all your money when you die. Okay, so... Not a boss, per se. Starving artist struggle. What do you purchase an extra life? Uh, no. I don't know what I need coins for other than lives, because that's the first thing I can spend them on, but. Oh. Oh, this guy's kind of cute. This guy kind of looks like he belongs in Clay Fighter or something. It does look sad.
Okay, you can kill those uh, lava balls, I guess. Oh, maybe you can't. Oh, God. Yo. Listen to this music. This music's like banging, dude. Finally, one of these games got the music correct for an old style game. Listen to that bass. Oh, man. Oh my god. <laughs> my eyes. I'm sorry if anybody is prone to seizures, because he probably just got them. Stage cleared. Stage two. Okay. Yeah, completely, totally uh, linear progression. You know what? I'm actually for it. Should definitely exploit that a little bit more than I am. I hope there's a point where I can upgrade how much damage my sword does. That would be good. Okay, heal up here. Hell are you? Why did they give this guy his own room? That's a little scary. You know what actually this feels more like than anything? This is going to be a weird comparison for anybody who hasn't played it, but this actually feels Hollow Knight-ish. Like, if you've played Hollow Knight, it actually moves very similarly. feels really good. You cannot jump and attack downward. That's the only bummer, dude. Yeah, it feels very Hollow Knighty. Which as somebody who is part of the annoying Hollow Knight fan community, I am for. Not enough games allow you to do that. I definitely agree. This is a really well-made product. I have to say, I'm impressed. Like, when um, I request games, it, most I usually see, because I don't want to like really get spoiled on anything, the, main, the site I request them on gives a bunch of screenshots or whatever, right? So the most I ever really see is how a game looks. Like I could look up YouTube videos or a trailer, but I kind of like to be surprised on like my first look at something. So I knew that this would have platforming elements in it. And I knew that it would look like this, but I didn't know how it would feel or play or anything like that. So, I have to say, I'm pleasantly surprised at how, like, competently this is... Oh my god, that scared me. How competently this is coded and done. This feels really nice. Play. And I think that's one of the hardest things when you stream a new game to get across, is how a game feels. 
but like the best I can say is if you've played Hollow Knight, it feels like kind of a more stripped down version of how that played. Which is very cool. And like judging by how the money in this game looks and how it moves um, when you kill somebody and whatever, like I wouldn't be surprised if the developers were heavily, heavily inspired by that game. There's no way they weren't. Oh god. <laughs> you ever have a barrel in your house and there's just a bomb in it? You have a dozen ideas for game concepts. That's definitely one thing I think everybody who plays games shares. We all have an idea on how to make a cool game. These are, oh wait, I should be like checking walls and stuff, right? That's probably death down there. I'm not even gonna bother. I still can't get over that uh, boss music, if you wanna know the truth. Mainly just because I've been, I've played so many, um, these like retro, this is a jerk section, by the way. Uh, I've been playing so much of these games that are kind of like this and like retro E in some way. And so many of them just like fail so hard on getting the bangers right for the songs. Or not the songs, the uh, levels. And the fact that like that boss fight had some of the best old style, as David put it actually very succinctly, it's a Genesis song, basically. Like, it definitely sounds like it came from a Sega Genesis. What up, Ace? This, wait, this here must open. I believe they're, oh God. Oh God. Oh, okay. My first problem with the game, and this is a problem with every game that does it. Stop doing instant death traps. Stop it. I hate instant death traps. Let me take a whole bunch of damage. Like, let me take over half a bar of damage. Don't do instant death. First grape. And that isn't a this game problem. That's an every game problem that does instant death. I hate it in every single game. What games would you say has a better soundtracks? Um, like for... I mean, Curse of the Moon 1 had a very good soundtrack. Ritual of the Night has a very, very good soundtrack. That's why Curse of the Moon 2 I found a little disappointing, because I know that the people that work on that game can do way better. See this getting annoying to some people because if you can tell i just realized i've just gotten oh but, uh shovel knight has like <clears throat> the best soundtrack in gaming maybe it's so good like the only thing that i can think of that compares to shovel knight soundtrack is scott pilgrim vs the world soundtrack that's almost an unfair comparison or that's almost an unfair game to bring up even it's in such its own league um, anyways what I was saying is I've just gotten used to it by now but if you couldn't tell when you take damage you uh 
you fly backwards. It has the Castlevania um, damage boosting, basically. Damage knockback. So I could see that being annoying to some people. The original Super Meat Boy soundtrack is in its own league as well. You are correct. Honestly, anything that Danny B does, honestly. I said honestly one too many times there. <clears throat> like, I guess... I guess I should tone it back just a little bit and say I don't think this soundtrack so far is, like, amazingly standout-ish or anything. But, like, I think this is very good so far. This almost has, like, a Donkey Kong country feel to it, this song. Like, from a dark cave or something. Like, a dark Donkey Kong type of song or something. I will say that that boss music, though... <gasps> was dope. I wish there was a way I could get healed rather than just have my healing. That's probably why they give it to you. Because they don't want you to uh, be able to pick it up, I guess. Oh, okay. That's good news. Because now if we die, we're at least here, you know? This is Genesis Donkey Kong on the DS. It's weird when you say that because it actually feels that way. <laughs> Hollow Kong. The coins kind of look like cookies. The coins straight up look like Geo from uh, from Hollow Knight. Like it's they're so close. A wall climb ability? What the heck was I supposed to do there? Maybe go. Oh, you know what? You probably drop down there. It's like a puzzle room or something, I bet. All right, that's fine. I want to get these guys on my tail here so we can fight them right away. Can you attack the orbs? That's a good question. You cannot. You can definitely attack these, though, to make it easier. If you consider that easier, I guess. A platformer with a caveman aesthetic? Oh, you're thinking of Joe and Mac. Joe and Mac is so good. That was one of my favorite games growing up. You found the emblem of Ur. Display enemy health. Yo. I don't know why, but I really like that type of upgrade. I really like seeing health bars. <laughs> it's so silly, but... There's something satisfying about knowing how much damage is left on something. These things are kind of disgusting. Better than counting enemy hits. Agreed. Oh. I messed up. 
messed up. I brought shame to my chat. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god! Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Just go, just go, just go. What the fuck, dude? Stop bombing me, bro. Okay. Oh my god, give me a checkpoint, man. run. The rhythm of that last room was very Donkey Kong. Yeah, man. You can tell the creators of this were, uh, are just like video game fans from that era. This feels like so many different games in different ways. It's a nice, um, homage to a lot of different stuff. Maybe I should be buying those. Yeah, I think we got a boss fight. Oh god. Oh man, okay. I was focusing too hard on the boss. Was that music a banger? Was it different? Was it a different song? It is a different song. Ah, uh, this one's not as good. It's still good. I still like this, but it's not as good as that first one. Oh my god, this fight is rough, dude. What the hell? This is the second boss? By two? Oh god. <laughs> Alright. amount is the weed number. Alright. Let's take a look at one more stage. Ooh. This is some Binding of Isaac feel right here, musically. Oh, nice.
What's into that base? We acquired the slide ability. Yo, we're gonna acquire abilities. Man, this game is giving me like a different type of uh, feel that I wanted. Like, it's kind of weird because Curse of the Moon 2 definitely gave me like my retro Castlevania. Um, there was a weird mix up of things that uh, Panzer Paladin gave me, but it was kind of its own thing. This is like giving me like a Hollow Knight fix almost. Like, not Metroidvania either. though. I don't know. It's been kind of neat. Been getting my fix on uh, the type of games I grew up loving. I think this, like, this, uh, enemy room music is the weakest of all the music so far. Pretty forgettable. This is definitely the only, only the, the type of game only somebody who grew up playing them can make. For sure, dude. Temporarily increases strength after killing an enemy. I wonder if there's, like, a limit on how many of these I can have act there there is a limit I can only have two active <laughs> can do it dude <laughs> You know, to the developers of this game, you're crying wolf too many times. I'm not gonna uh, hit crates anymore. If you don't start giving me more than just freaking bombs on them, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Why do you hate your player that much? Oh my god. That jump. That's a hard jump. Oh, this is timed. Okay, hold on. Honestly, I think this is a type of game... Oh, right, and I played Blaster Master Zero 2 recently. That wasn't this year, but, like, I got my Blaster Master fix, too. Man, it's been such a treat of a year for me, for the games I grew up with. What an amazing time to be alive. Oh god. I almost feel like I want to kill that. This is rough. You ever hit a wall that makes you not want to play video games? Yes. I do all the time. Unless you count like P-Cross, then no. But I do P-Cross as like my way of relaxing. It's not exactly playing a game, it's more like kind of relaxing my mind is zoning out. You hit that wall every day. Yeah. It's been definitely... Oh my god. Is that... I've definitely been uh, feeling that more recently. Honestly, I just haven't found that much happiness in like streaming or anything recently.
I even though I do still get stupid excited when I find a game like this that I end up loving. I really, really love that. Some of these jumps, dude. They definitely got down the annoying jump part. My god. Okay. I knew it. I don't know. Oh my god, stop bombing me, dude. <laughs> There's a bit of um, Castlevania 4 in this game, honestly. I don't know if you guys like can see it or feel it at all. There's some Castlevania 4 in here, though, for sure. I found the Fragment of Raw, by the way. Decrease the slide cooldown. That seems like it's probably useful. But more importantly, uh, we got that checkpoint there. Oh, never mind. There's a checkpoint here, too. <gasps> Fucking bombs, dude. What a rude enemy placement. Wow. Wing strike skin fragment of raw. I do not get it. Is that a Yu-Gi-Oh? That's a Yu-Gi-Oh, isn't it? It's a Yu-Gi-Oh. Man. I gotta be better. I gotta be better at the video game, dude. I have to say, it is a little weird that you don't just smack the uh the levers with your sword you actually have to like use them like a real person <laughs> rather than a video game protagonist who uses their sword for like everything these barrels anymore. <laughs> I also don't trust this room very much, to be honest with you. Freaking knew it. I suggested this to John if he would play it. I think he would like it. I think this is up his uh, alley. I 
hate recommending games to uh, friends, though. The first prisoner was from the south, the second, the east, and the third, the west. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Got a little bit of lore. That sweet, sweet lore. This enemy placement right here. Real Jagoff placement, dude. Also that bomb. Wow, that's a rude bomb. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, do you remember what the order was, anybody? Was it east, west, and then? South? Yeah, there was a hint. Oh crap, I can't get back to it. You know what? I'm just gonna die. We'll get the hint again. Okay, south, east, west. Southeast, west. Thank you, thank you for writing that down, chat. these bombs, man. North by Northwest. Got a lesson on how to sell. Max heals increased. Yo! Super worth dying and going back for to learn what the thing was. Man, what I wouldn't give for a way to uh, have a ranged attack, like if I could throw my sword or something, damn, what a world that would be. <laughs> If you could throw your sword, then you couldn't attack again until you died or hit a checkpoint. Like, you can't even punch the dudes. Could the bombs be a result of one of the power ups, like a bad side effect? Um. Doesn't say anything about it, so I'm gonna assume no. I'm glad that we don't have to re-pick up power-ups 
That's nice. Yeah, it was a good thought. Because sometimes I skim over details like that. Where I'm just like, oh, this is sick. And it's like, do a hundred per or do like five thousand percent more damage. Oh, sick! And then I miss the like fine print that's like, but die in one hit. <laughs> Not to say that, like, I never grab those builds anyway. I really, really like glass cannon builds and stuff, usually. It's really satisfying to be able to just kill stuff in, like, one swipe. And have the, like, stress of being able to possibly die at any point. Just like in life, you know? I think it's random if you get a bomb or not, because sometimes I get money, and sometimes I get a bomb. Like, that one was a bomb twice. But one earlier, this time around, was uh, three coins. So yeah, I think it might just be random. Ladder boss. Something, something, snake eater. Yeah, you got it. This seems to be the only thing you spend coins on in this game. So, I'm more than happy to buy them. This is a cool uh, looking boss. Oh my god. I'm glad he's cool looking because we're about to fight him a thousand times. That's why I die trying to take my tie off. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god, dude. to get under him when he's uh, attacking with lightning. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. There is a dodge roll. I haven't really had to use it yet. Honestly, getting under him wasn't the worst suggestion. Not a bad one, actually. I just want to make sure I'm healed up. Oh god, okay. Yeah, it's definitely random if you get a bomb or coins.
Oh. Man, that is a hard boss. Okay, I still have everything though, so I don't need to. I'm kinda hoping I would clutch it out there, but as is in my repertoire, I choked. I'm just not gonna hit those and oh wait I lost all my money because of the game over yeah okay I have to hit those because I might need to rebuy lives Yeah, they put you all the way back to the beginning. Yeah, Disco Elysium is on my uh, list of things I want to get to sooner rather than later as well. Okay, those actually stay active for quite a while. You can take your time there. Oh, I don't need that. There's a checkpoint without it. That was only for a uh, thing. Dude, I'm so excited for more Outer Worlds DLC coming in like a month and a half or whatever. In September, I think it is. I'm so stoked. Can't wait to go back to that game. This will, uh... As soon as we finish this boss, this will be where we finish this uh, first impression of this game as well. This boss has to go down though. Oh yeah, give me that money. Well, I have enough for one. Life from that. Ah, screw it. I'm going to keep. Like, I don't know what you call this farming, I guess. No, farming would be me going in and out of a room to. Uh, to just get coins. Yeah, grinding, farming, whatever way you want to talk about monotonous bullshit I guess same difference exactly exactly I should have just grabbed those enemies are so annoying. Ooh. 
hilarious the writer of the Outer Wilds wrote the new DLC for Outer Worlds. Did they? That's actually hilarious, yeah. You know what else is actually hilarious? The part in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the movie, uh, when Lucas Lee is fighting Scott and then his stunt doubles are like beating the shit out of him and he walks away to get a coffee and he looks at his phone and he's just like, that's actually hilarious. That part was actually hilarious as well. Okay. Does your soul supreme turn it out? Boss fight. I have enough to buy two of these again. Wait, what? Oh, does it go up every time? It goes up every time. Okay. Well, never mind then. Honestly, I could just do this. Or is it just always going to give me a bomb now? No, oh, there's some money. I wonder if it has something to do with like an in-game clock or something. Thanks, man. I think we got this one of these times too. I mean, it happens, right? A hard boss fight is a hard boss fight. Standing in him is not a good idea though. Ask me how I found that out. Damn it, I was hoping he'd go the other way. He never goes the other way, though. Uh, what? Uh oh. <laughs> oh, the throws, the throws. Yeah, he has nothing left anyway. Oh my 
god. Fuck off. I'm dead. I wonder if it's almost worth it to tank the hit on the ground just to get away from him. Like, I wonder if they do different damage values. I haven't really been paying attention. But, like, when you're cornered like that... Shit, dude. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't give you like any room to breathe. doing that move. Oh, I'm screwed, dude. Okay. He only sells uh, a certain amount. He only sells two lives to you. I fucked up. Getting stuck in the corner is a bad time. True. I wish I did a little more damage to you. Basically every enemy. Yeah, Twitch doesn't like to tell, uh... Twitch doesn't like to tell people when I stream. It's been like that for a while. It tells people, like, three hours later, and I usually only stream for three to four hours regularly. So... It's been awesome. I do need to be down here, never mind. Twitch is truly the best of us. The whole platform. The best humanity has to offer.
At least its parent company didn't shut it down. So far, so good. Oh, damn it. You can crank it twice to close it. investment Bezos has that's absolutely not true which is definitely the biggest loss leader for Amazon by far there's no way if twitch wasn't as popular as it was it would have been dead easily it would have been shut down it's the only reason why all the money and resources kept it keep all these people and creators and servers and all this stuff going is because it's the biggest in the business. Otherwise it would be like another mixer. Man, that jump is kind of rough. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a solid platform. Twitch, like every platform, like YouTube, Facebook Gaming, Mixer, every platform has its problems. But it's solid. to believe Twitch is running at a loss. It is 100% running at a loss. Accidental link. No worries. Basically, like, all video streaming sites run at a loss. Because keeping that shit up is f fucking expensive. Almost back to the checkpoint. It's like the one enemy that I was really, really worried about. <laughs> should farm it because I'm gonna use up a life just here. Also, if we keep getting this luck, it's not gonna take very long. Of course, as I say that, we stop getting the luck. Whoops. That transition's pretty quick, too. Up with the bombs, dude. Oh crap, I missed. 
just the bad one. I know my health is really bad. That's why I was saying we're basically going to lose a life just instantly here anyway, so. I, that's why I want to farm the second one that you can buy from him quick. Yeah, Bloodstained had a similar farming thing too. That's true. When you needed to get like the, uh, the shards. Oh, m milk for, yeah, farming the foods you can uh, cook and buy and stuff. True. Keep doing this. No. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, we did it. Okay. That's a hard fight. Oof. That urn. All right. Ooh. Let's just quickly listen to this. Man. I have like. Final Fantasy VII slum vibes from this. Ooh, that's nice. All right, that's Primal Light. Uh, $17 Canadian, so I'm assuming it's about $15 uh, US. Just came out a few weeks ago. If you like the old 8-bit style games, like Genesis games and Super Nintendo games, like the, uh, action platformer stuff this is a must pick up i think it's very very good especially for that price so good oh my god <laughs> 